When Alec Isagonis designed the Mini in the late 50s, many of his design concepts were quite innovative. It was in a period when there was a general switch from using a chassis with separate body parts to a unitary construction body shell. For the Mini, he chose to mount the rear suspension on one subframe with the engine and front suspension sharing the other subframe. These two components, along with the front wheel drive, are key to the strength and legendary handling of the Mini. We're going to follow the production of a front subframe through its manufacturing processes. British Motor Heritage uses the original manufacturing press dies and assembly jigs to make mini subframes to the original drawings using the original material specifications. Adhering to originality is key to producing such a safety critical component. The main part of the build takes place on this large jig. Here, previously built sub-assemblies are held tightly together for welding in exactly their correct positions. These tower assemblies were built on their own special jigs. All these jigs, some simple and some quite complex, with air and hydraulic rams holding the individual pressings in place, are those originally used by Smithsons at Wolverhampton for supply to the mini production lines at British Leyland's Longbridge factory. The jig closes to hold the rear crossmember in place. The front crossmember is the last sub-assembly to be placed and locked into position in the jig. The main components are now held firmly in place, ready for MIG welding. Short stitches of weld are applied, a technique that makes a strong joint but doesn't provoke the work to distort under the very high temperatures produced by the welding. As well as MIG welding, Parts of the subframe are also spot welded together to complete its strength and rigidity. This is an important part of the structure and exact compliance to the original drawings in the number of these spot welds and the MIG welds is considered crucial in the production of a strong subframe. These spot welding machines are the biggest in use at the Heritage factory, tightly pressing the parts together between their copper tips while passing a current large enough to weld the heavy gauge steel used in subframes. While all the parts have now been accurately and firmly positioned relative to one another, not everywhere was accessible for MIG welding when the subframe was in the main jig. So it's now held on a turnover stand where welding can be completed. The suspension mounting points are reamed out before the subframe is placed into the final jig where the suspension lower arm holes are pierced. And for those subframes destined for the mini automatic, the engine mount holes drilled. Still on this jig, the suspension bushes are welded into the tower tops. A final tidying up with an angle grinder to remove any unwanted weld spurs completes the build. The subframe is now placed in the inspection jig, which reproduces all the location points between body shell, subframe, engine and suspension. The ability to slide a machined pin through each of these points will prove that the subframe complies in every respect with the dimensions on the original drawings. British Motor Heritage manufactures both front and rear subframes for the Mini to their original specifications and high standards, along with complete body shells, all of the replacement panel assemblies for Minis produced between 1969 and 2000, and most of the panel assemblies for those cars produced prior to 1969. The key to heritage quality is the use of original material specifications, tooling and production processes.